Hello, hello. Uh, this is Jack again. Uh, today, uh, I'm very happy to have my colleague Nini here to join me to share with us uh, what we know about TMU. So it is this uh, T-E-M-U, TMU. Okay, so today I know we are going to talk about uh, four topics. And the first topic is uh, what? What is TMO? And the second topic is how it works. And the third one, so what's the difference between Tim and Amazon? The last, the last topic is uh, shall I sell on Tim? Okay, so that's our four topics today. Okay, so now let's start with the first one. Okay, so Nini. Uh, I heard that the team originally it was a China company, Chinese company called Pinduoduo. So is that right? Yes. Okay. So when, so what time it launched this this T M U? Can you remember? Mm. September first, and uh, um, two thousand and twenty-two. Oh, okay. All right. So it's. It's a Chinese company in China. It's called Pinduoduo. Uh, but then uh, on September the first, twenty twenty two, it launched its overseas version. It's a shopping app, which is called Temu. Uh, so I, I thought that now there are all, like a fifty countries uh, uh, can can buy more than forty eight. Uh, more than forty eight. Yeah. So more than forty eight countries can buy products on Temu. Yeah. It seems it has a lot of traffic and it can sell a lot of products there. Um, a lot of products. A lot of products. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So according to the number on the team, and they really can sell a lot of products. Okay. All right. And the second is, this is our big part. It's like how how team how it works. How does T M U works? Mm, like team, you you just register um, on team. Okay. You First. register. Yeah. You register and. Uh, first, you um, upload the pictures, the product pictures first. Okay, product pictures. Yeah, then um, they will decide uh, accept this product or, oh, they can or no. Yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. If they um, say yes, if they accept the product, then you you can tell them your. Cost. Oh, you want to tell them how much um, you, you want to sell? Yeah, how much you want to sell uh, in, uh, uh, yes, in, in, in RMB or US. Uh, yeah, US, it's the same. I think. It's the same, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then they will uh, have your product listing. Okay, so then they will list your product. Yeah. Hmm. And here, maybe here, yes. And no, because okay. uh, maybe your product they don't accept, and they the price they, yeah they need to reduce your pro your price. Okay, all right. So here Didi was saying that the price. So we, we pay attention to here. So first you give the pictures, then Tim say yes, then Tim say no. Yeah. The story end. Yeah. If Tim say no, then you tell them okay, I want to sell this for ten. Then table will, they will decide. So they will decide if it's a yes, they say okay, yes. Then they will list your product. And if you say if they say no, then it stopped. Right? Yeah. Okay, after they And maybe maybe they will give you a price like uh eight. Oh, they can bargain? Yeah. Oh, okay. So team can you can bargain with team. So in the end you agree a price, then they list your product, and I think at the same time they will give you the barcode labels, right? Yes, SKC. SKC. Okay, they will give you the barcode labels. So then, what's next? Uh, and if you have a um, factory, then you can ask the factory manager to deliver the goods to their warehouse. Oh, okay. Then you deliver the products to team. Yeah. To team the warehouse. TMU team warehouse. 
So then what happened next? And then they will do the inspection and they will uh, do the shipping. Oh, okay. So then they will inspect. Yeah. Then they will inspect. Obviously there is a yes or no, right? Yeah. Okay. So if it's a yes. And they, they will put in the warehouse and uh, if one uh, customer they purchase, they will do the shipping. Okay. That means they check in. They check in and then they will ship. Yeah. Oh, so then what, what if, if it's no? If, if no, then they will return. Oh, back to okay. You. So if it is no, then this goes back to you, right? Yeah. And and uh, you need to pay the freight. Oh, so this is my own freight. Yeah. Ah, huh. that's not that's that's interesting. So I'd better send some good products to them. Otherwise, they return, and then I have to pay the freight. Yeah, because the team think it's the safety way for 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 them. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe lost. Oh, got got you. So it's the, it's their rules. I understand. It. It's their rules. It's yeah. their platform, and it's their rules. Okay. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Uh, okay, I think that's pretty clear. You get you you want to sell. You give them a picture. Uh, they say yes. Then you give them a price. They may say yes or they may say no. Then you bargain. After bargain, you reach the deal, and then they list your product. They give you the SKC, which is a barcode number. You can label your products. Then uh, you ship. You ship to their warehouse. And uh, Timu and you, you, you ship their warehouse in China. And after that, they will inspect your products. If looks good, they will, check, will be checked in and shipped to their customers. And if it's no, they will be returned to you on your own freight. So this is the workflow. Yes. Great. Yeah, that's great. It's, it's clear. All right. At, at least to me, that's clear. Okay. So uh, now I think we can see the difference between Timu and uh, Amazon, right? So Timu and Amazon, they are different, right? To my understanding, it's like this. Okay. For Amazon, and uh, so this is the seller. And uh, you buy a product from somewhere, like buy, buy a product from China. And you open an account on Amazon, you sell, and there you, you will have your seller. You have your own customer. So my, uh, Amazon is a platform. So if you, it's like if you do FBA, of course, Amazon will deliver the products. If you do FBM, then you, you yourself, you need to deliver the products. So it's like three parts. One, two, three. Uh, but for, for team, this comes to only two parts, only two parts, the seller and the team. So is it correct? Yes, yes, correct. Okay, so they simplified. They simplified from three parts to two parts. Right, so that's interesting. Then our last topic is, so should I? Sell. Should I sell on Team? Should I sell on Amazon or should I sell on Team? So, do you have any suggestions for for our audience? If you are a new seller and you haven't do the um, overseas uh, like this, like Team, like um, AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, like this, then maybe you can try to uh, use team first because this is very very new only around one and a half years i think oh okay so because this is a new yeah. new and new versus old so amazon is old and a team is new and team is very easy because you don't need to uh, calculate the shipping the shipping fee you just provide the 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 products to team and they will do the shipping for 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 you okay so the first is uh, new versus old and then it's uh, easy yeah so team is much easier and uh, i just need to deliver my products to their china warehouse yeah and, yeah, it, 
And as the beginning, maybe you can try around the five pieces or ten pieces. Oh. Like this pan, maybe you only order one, uh, five pieces or ten pieces and put the SKC, then you can, you can sell. If oh. team accept. Okay, so that's easy and uh, low risk. What do you yeah. mean? It's a low risk. Yes. You don't have a lot of investment there, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so these are the two. Also, the I think the third one is uh, we compare with the Chinese sellers and overseas sellers. Uh, it seems just the Nini said it's easy and at low risk, and you do less job, but it seems you you also earn less. Uh, but for Chinese supplier, it seems this is a very good fit for them. Uh, they just do what what the uh, they are they are good at, and they don't, they don't need to to the, the other half of the chain. They just need to do the first one. And of, they earn, only earn the money of the first part. Yeah, but uh, what about for the overseas? Overseas sellers, do you think they, they should consider selling on TMU? Uh, I think overseas seller, maybe they just, uh, maybe you can try because until now we, uh, we haven't no uh, overseas sellers uh, the information about team so maybe you can try try first because this is very easy to 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 do to register and uh, easy to sell oh okay so Nini was saying that uh, you can try because nobody knows nobody knows what will happen because it's new you can try you can let us know and uh, and also, but uh, so far we can already, because because of this workflow, so far we we are already sure that on team, and you cannot set your selling price. So if you have your own brand, you want your brand to be an expensive brand, uh, but unfortunately on team you cannot sell your set your selling price. And the second is, uh, on team. Uh, besides the price, and the second is you cannot buy the traffic. You cannot buy, like on Amazon, you can pay PPC, you can hire people to, to buy the traffic for you. But on team, then this is none of your work. So they will decide it. So to me, it's like if you are overseas and if you are good at marketing, if you are good at branding, then if you go with team, that means there's not much you can do. There's actually nothing you can do. Uh, but if you are located in China, seems it's a good fit. Because the, the branding and the marketing is not what you're good at. But production and uh, finding products at a good price, that's what you're good at. So it seems that for Chinese suppliers, mm, team seems a good option. Uh, for overseas suppliers, uh, you, you, can, you can consider uh, to try it or not to try it, of course, that's only, the results only come after you try. So, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, so that's our four topics today. And then, uh, don't be disappointed. Uh, for the overseas sellers, and uh, don't be disappointed. Uh, team, uh, you cannot uh, do much about the uh, marketing and branding on team, uh, but uh, you can have you, you have another option. Uh, it's called the TikTok, TikTok shop. And for this TikTok shop, and you can do a lot of marketing and branding. And if you like the content that we shared today, and uh, please let us know. And uh, probably uh, with our next session, we may talk about TikTok shop. I think that's all today, Nini. Is that okay. okay? All right. Thank you very much for watching. And we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.